Hi, welcome back to Wayne's Hollow. I've uh, been a little bit busy today. Uh, I didn't think you guys wanted to see me digging holes, <laughs> putting posts in the ground. Uh, so what's happening, the reason I had to get it done today, uh, my hens, because my hens are free range and they're getting, they just, earlier today they tore my herb garden completely apart. <laughs> Even most of the perennial, or not perennials, well, yeah, the perennials that are in there, uh, they kind of ripped a lot of the roots and everything out today, too, so I got to get this done. I need to keep the hens out of my garden, so, yeah, these are just uh, maple trees, top branches off a of maple tree. Uh, I dug a hole, I burned the bottoms, uh, put them down about three and a half feet down into the ground, both sides. Uh, just and This is a, a gate. I'm going to use and I'm going to uh, uh, paint this black. I'm going to put some the same type of fencing along the sides and paint it black. Same here into the corner of the house and paint it black but I'll show you guys as I'm going along. Uh, this is the header piece is what I've been working on for the last little bit. You notice that uh, <laughs> none of the parts I put on to my uh, uh, gateway or straight or anything like that. I kind of think just building things straight and level and true all the time is boring. <laughs> so yeah, so I got this one cut so it fits here. I do have to put a strap on it and pull the, the upper parts in a little bit because my header is not quite long enough but I can put a strap on this and pull these in and when I pull them in they'll come up and they'll fit better. Today we got that nice lovely farm smell. <laughs> the farmers are spreading manure today around all their fields. Oh well, living in the country is something you gotta deal with. You gotta wait a little Misha in case that thing falls down, girl. So I'll start by uh, nailing this end to where I want it. Just nail so I'm gonna make this work. Now let's see if my bar clamp will work. Uh, just something that to uh, help hold that clamp up. Uh, okay. This way I can actually keep a little bit of pressure pushing towards that. I get uh, fencing on both sides. The reason I'm only doing the, the fencing on hooks is so that I can take it down if I need to. Like if I need to get in there with a, a something bigger or even in the winter time so it's not in the way when we're trying to move snow, I can just lift the fence up and move it to the side. Now obviously the thing I can't move is the gateway, but at least on both sides I would be able to move it. Yeah, we'll just sit on this side of where the tree is. 
obviously I gotta lift it up so it's level. I'll put a level on it, make sure it's straight. I'll put a nail in this way and bend it up so it works like a hook, and the same with the bottom. Then if I really need to, or anytime I need to, I can just lift the fence completely off and uh, it'll be out of the way. I'm gonna do the same on this side and the same on that side. Uh, now I gotta go get my grinder and get this cut off and kind of cut it off a little bit at an angle so that I don't have any sharp edges. I don't want uh, anybody hooking themselves on anything like that. Oh yeah, before I forget, this, this is a draw knife I made about, oh, 15 years ago. Uh, I made it out of a, a lawnmower blade. So yeah, I cut it down, because I was uh, doing fencing at the time. I was trying to do some uh, rail fencing. So uh, I needed something, and I couldn't get a draw knife anywhere. Uh, nobody made them, or most people didn't even know what they were on the island here. So uh, I just said, oh, well, I'll just make one. So yeah, <laughs> it used to have a blade that was that thick. But that's how much I've sharpened it over the years. Uh, these were just two pieces of pipe that I pounded flat and then I just took a spot, welded it tight, and I've been using it ever since. I've done hundreds. I don't know where it's got to get cut, so. That one and that one. Doggy, you need to watch that away, buddy. Go on, fence uh, painted uh, it's all installed I mean I'm not too worried about having it painted perfectly because you're not going to see this fence not by much because I have uh, big flower pots that go out in front of the, the herb garden so yeah now I'll continue on with the other side and then I'll come back when it's all done and show you guys the, the finished uh, fencing for the herb garden so yeah that's the uh, fencing for my uh, small herb garden uh, let me know what you think of it. Uh, I only started this around two hours ago, two and a half hours ago, and done now. Looks pretty good. Uh, I never do things the traditional way, uh, the way that a lot of people do things. They would have put in straight posts and made sure it was all level and straight and all that. Well, for me, I don't like that. That's boring. I always like things to be a little different. Uh, everything I do is always different. It's never the same as what most other people can do uh, for me to put things in straight and level and you know it's just something I did for a living for many many years now I like to use my imagination and look at a tree these are off of a, a tree that uh, Fiona blew down which is across my stream and uh, this is just uh, pig paneling so I just cut it to fit uh, I painted it just with a flat black paint uh, matches the chair and tables that are on the inside, so it looks really good. I like it. Uh, let me know what you guys think of it. Uh, leave a comment. Uh, maybe hit that like button and uh, subscribe. And thanks for watching.